So for a while, I kind of felt like solo devs were a dying breed. You know, when you looked at the industry, it was shifting towards these teams with huge budgets and these massive projects. And if you weren't a part of that, if you didn't have the team, you weren't going to find success. It was actually impossible to get to because the games, you know, you couldn't make that top tier game. But I feel like in recent years, something has changed. Uh, and it's super exciting. More and more solo developers aren't just surviving. They're actually thriving, especially when you look on YouTube and you see people just sharing their projects. It's such a cool thing to see. I can't even go on X because everybody's so talented, but it's so cool to see. I, I feel like there's been a resurgence and I think we're approaching or even in the middle of a golden age for indie creators. And so today I want to talk about just that. I want to talk about seemingly the rise and then the fall and then the rebirth of the solo dev and why so many of us felt that we needed teams to succeed why that's not the case anymore and why I'm kind of thinking of going back to the solo dev mindset myself so let's get into it so the first thing I want to talk about is before you know for years the industry pushed the idea that to make great games you needed a giant team to bring it to life AAA studios you know were the standard and even in the indie game space small teams started to form and they were making their own awesome games and you know I did too I built a little team because I thought that I needed it to make games that were successful. And so because of that, it felt like the solo devs were being left behind. And anybody who was a solo developer, e even that, even myself, I was like, ah, you should probably get a team, you know? Even look at the indie games, you know, 10-ish years ago. Games like Hollow Knight, you know, H Hades was maybe like five years ago, but these games are considered indie games, yet they're huge and they're amazing. I want to be very clear. I love these games. They're not your typical indie game. I love them. I love them so very much. But if you weren't a programmer, if you weren't an artist, a sound designer, and a marketer all in one person, good luck. You know, you weren't going to release a game. And that's sucky to even think, you know, how dare I? It was easy to think that if I wanted to make something that people cared about, I needed a team. And that's just the reality that I thought was reality. But then something kind of changed. Something kind of seemed to happen. It felt like overnight, maybe? It was like tools started like actually starting to make sense and they started to work for us and not against us. Even when you look at engines, they used to be super complex, you know? When you looked at something like Unreal specifically, it was like, oh, like, you know, you only use that if you're like a hyper professional. But then things started to change, you know? You know, Unreal got Blueprint, which made, you know, programming in the engine so much easier. And then don't even get me started on AI. I mean, say what you will about it but my learning process of becoming a programmer has been so much easier than it was 10 years ago because I can just ask questions to the soulless thing on the other side of the screen you know I don't have to search through forums and hunt for answers to questions that I barely understand myself and that was the case like 10 years ago discord didn't even come out the learning process is just so much easier now in my opinion and um yeah suddenly being a solo developer wasn't just possible it was actually efficient that was super cool and then throw in social media things like you know x and tiktok and youtube gave solo developers a voice to talk to people to build a community around their game building the community around yourself and around your own voice has never been more easy that just was not the case before i just feel like people have started to care less about who is on the team and more about who is making the game you know names like jonathan blow toby fox they are known for making these amazing games solo developers have had a resurgence lately and that's super cool to see because people connect with people and when your game is an extension of yourself when you pour yourself into a game when you pour your passion that becomes the heart of your game that's super important and it's super cool and it's really powerful and people connect with it you know and I, I say all these things but the the harsh reality is still there you know a mistake a lot of solo developers make is you know thinking that solo means alone and that's just not the case anymore you know you might be the only one working on your game but you don't have to be doing it in a vacuum you know the best solo developers don't isolate themselves they engage with other developers and the people they're working with and, and solo developer means something different than it did 10 years ago you know community 
is everything. And it doesn't mean that you lose your sense of individuality. You know, it, it's actually about enhancing it because you're growing. And that is awesome. You don't need a team to succeed, but you do need support. And I learned that the hard way, which is why it's crazy for me to even think about returning to that even mindset. People are craving unique and personal experiences. We're over the CGI junk. It's gross. We're done with it. We want uniqueness. We want personal experiences. We want realness. And I think develop, solo developers are in the perfect position to provide that experience. When a game feels like you, it stands out because no one else is like you. And that's awesome. That's like, that's like a superpower. And so that's sort of why I kind of have this vision of returning to the solo dev route again, which is crazy again for me to even think about because I've spoken about teams so fondly in the past. I want to be very clear. Greg and I are still working together. We're still a part of Soul Engine together, but I want to go back to that solo dev mindset. The mindset of instead of thinking that I need a huge team to get a successful project on the ground, I just need to be more of my authentic self. I need to learn what I need to learn, and for what I lack, I need to get help, i.e. Greg, for music, because where I lack is music. And I'm never going to be able to bring music to life like someone who is really good at it, like Greg. So when he needs help with something, I'm gonna help him. And when I need help with something, he's gonna help me. Functioning with the solo dev mindset. I became too reliant on my team. You know, I became too reliant on the people around me because I was like, oh, because I can't do this, I need someone else. And because I need someone else, I'm not even going to attempt to try and learn it. And that's wrong. That's not good. That is, that's too much pressure on other people. And I wanna avoid that. So yeah, I am returning to that solo dev mindset. And I think I've unknowingly been moving in that direction. So yeah, for a while, I felt like solo developers were a thing of the past. But today, that is not the case. One, totally not the case. The tools are better, the audience is there, and you know, people are craving the uniqueness of individuality. So if you are a solo developer, don't fall into the trap of thinking that you need a team to succeed. Also, don't go alone. You know, build a community, share your work, stay connected to other developers. Go on Discord. I, again, I don't want to say, I, I say this all the time, but don't think you need to build a YouTube channel, but a YouTube channel is great at building community. Uh, and that's so amazing and important. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer working solo or do you prefer working with a team? And what is your biggest struggle as a solo developer if you are one? If you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a like and uh, hit that like button and I can't even talk. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, all the jazz, you know it. Follow us on Discord. I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you next week. See ya.